Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and as a mere mortal, I almost got myself out of the Apple ecosystem. I switched to Android, and I even swapped my MacBook out for Linux for about five minutes. Oh, now doesn't that look lovely? That doesn't scream nerd at all. I tell ya, I was almost free of their matrix. But one night, Agent Cook snuck into my bedroom and said, Shh, hey Sam, try the iPad. And curse Apple's black magic, because just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Hi everyone, I'm Sam Tucker. And it pains me a little to say, but I'm in love with my iPad. This is my story. Part one. The iPad was my Apple gateway drug. So I only got this iPad to make a few fun video ideas. And then I thought I'd sell it maybe or hand it over to my wife who likes to draw and stuff. But unfortunately for Addy though, I grew to love the iPad. I started to spend more and more time with it. And when she was away one night, I'm a little ashamed to say, I slept with the iPad. Oh! What spell has this iPhone plus 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 cast on me? And why do I love this iPad so much? Well, that leads us to part two. Who wants a stylus? Turns out I want a stylus. Yuck. That's right, the killer app for the iPad is the Apple Peen. Oh, as well as a notebook app. Because before the iPad, I would carry around my laptop, my calendar, notebook, heck, I liked writing so much, I even got a little notebook for my wallet. And I didn't think that the iPad could replace all of those paper things. Because it wouldn't be as romantic as writing on paper. But it turns out that what the iPad lacks in romance, it makes up for with so much practicality. Such as, now I can have all my notebooks on me at once. Whether it's my planner for organising my week, my video idea book, for writing ideas about videos, it's my textbook for studying Romanian. Share? I can play videos and study at the same time. It lights up so I can write in the dark and I always have a flat surface to write on so I don't have to wrestle with notebook pages. Once you ripped a phone book in half, you may have some more hair on your chest. And with the Apple Pencil, I've always got a red pen, a blue pen, a black pen, an eraser, scissors and glue with me. And the book can be grid paper, ruled paper, blank paper, any paper. And I can bring back some of that romance of writing on paper, thanks to this video sponsor, Paperlike. It's a heart, by the way, I, it's, it's meant to be a heart. Paperlike is a magic screen protector for your iPad that uses special nanodot technology to bring back that feeling of writing on paper. And it feels and sounds so natural. What, don't believe me? Well, believe your ears. Here's the sound of paper. Here's Paperlike. And he's bare glass. It's no comparison. See, with the increased friction of Paperlike, you're able to be more precise with your writing and drawing. Plus, it reduces glare and fingerprints, making it easier to see under bright lights and outdoors. And not only does Paperlike protect your iPad screen, it's also easier on the pencil tip compared to other matte screen protectors that use inferior technology to increase the friction, like, I don't know, witchcraft. So bring back the feeling of paper and get yourself paper-like today with the link in the description. They offer worldwide shipping and each pack comes with two screen protectors in the box and everything you need to apply it. So click the link below to get yours today. And on top of all of the writing stuff that helped me organize my schedule and my thoughts, it's also all the books I used to carry around. Like my chonky Tony Robbins and friends. And of course, it's my laptop for keeping up with tech news and stuff. Look, I know I'm starting to sound like an Apple commercial here and believe me, that annoys me too. You know, I can be very critical of Apple. Like how they go on about caring for the environment, but then make it impossible to repair your wife's MacBook without breaking it. Or repair your MacBook without breaking it. Or repair your PC without breaking it. Oh. Uh, Forget about that last one. I'm not the common denominator here. But dang it, when they get it right, they get it right. And, you know, since I'm using the iPad, well, I might as well get back into part three. 
The ecosystem. It just works. Okay, so because I already use a MacBook, because it has Final Cut Pro, which I use to edit videos fast, and I'm now using the iPad because of all the hundred reasons I mentioned before, well, it does kind of just make sense to use the iPhone again because, you know, if I don't have my iPad on me, well, all of its notes will sync with my iPhone, just like it's a smart little notebook in my pocket. Also, if I record something on my iPhone for a video, like this shot, then I can just airdrop it to my MacBook as quick as anything. And so, sticking to an ecosystem, whether it's macOS and iOS or Windows and Android, it just takes so much friction out of your life. Well, unless your ecosystem is Linux and Linux, then good luck with those config files. But then again, yes, the Apple ecosystem is far from perfect. And since there's only one Apple company making Apple stuff, you're kind of stuck with what they give you. In part four, the bad stuff that I don't like. Like, why did Apple have to take away the orientation lock, headphone jack, and split keyboard function from the new iPads? I mean, not all of us have giant thumbs, Apple. It's hard to reach the middle. Why can't I see the iPad's battery percentage when it's locked in the upright position? Just put it next to the Touch ID reminder. Oh, here's one. Why is the Apple Pencil destroying this side of my iPad? Whose idea was that one? And I know the iPad has replaced all of my notebooks, but do you know how many nice notebooks I could have bought for the same money? <laughs> Forget about it. Anyway, what can I say? Apple, of course, they cost me a lot of money, but they save me a lot of time in things like writing and filming and editing and, you know, things that make me money. So. I guess it kind of evens out in the end. Tell me, is there a tech product that you're loving right now? Whether it's an iPad or a Tesla or something, let me know in the comments below. But until next time, I'll just be enjoying my iPad along with its paper-like. Get yourself paper-like today with the link in the description. All right, stay funky, everyone. Sam time, signing off. Subscribe today. Um, what do you think about uh, the iPad 7? Yeah, it's okay. I use it every now and then. No, I don't. <laughs> but uh, would you would you say that you loved it? Maybe, uh, maybe I love it. <laughs> hey, where are you posting that? <laughs> My real thoughts on the iPad. <laughs>